Dating back to the 1800s, tin mining is one of the oldest businesses in Malaysia. At one time, the region produced one third of the world's tin supply. But with mines exhausted and a steep drop in the price of tin, production has dropped 90%. Mining companies now dig for the scarce metal wherever they can and at whatever the risk. In the state of Parak, workers have dug too close to the seawall of an abandoned pit mine bordering the Indian Ocean. See you later. As water pressure grows more intense on the coastal side of the quarry, the ground trembles, rocks slide, and the ocean begins to pour into the pit. Massive sections of land disintegrate in a river of mud and rock. Less than a minute later, another chunk of seawall gives way, leaving very little to hold back the water. What remains of the tin mine slowly crumbles, but there's more destruction to come. The Indian Ocean can't be contained. The last remaining section of the mine collapses and the ocean roars through the gap. Within minutes, the quarry is gone. An aerial photograph shows a new cove nearly a half mile wide has formed in the aftermath. Several hours before the collapse, the owner of the mining company discovers the leak. He orders the equipment moved and evacuates his workers. It's a decision that ends up saving dozens of lives.